Okay, so now I have actually erased those terms. So we, have, we end up with this. Now, um, we must convert this to BRDF. Okay, so here we have the full uh, representation basically. We have the incoming radiance is related to outgoing radiance by these terms. But uh, in order to use this in our ray tracing, in our rendering equation, we must compute the BRDF. So let's say, let's remember our rendering equation. What, what was it? So the outgoing radiance or the reflected radiance here, doesn't matter, was equal to uh, this, right? Uh, it was equal to, so we were sample, uh, uh, integrating over the full hemisphere. So we had Li, okay? We had F, BRDF basically, right? Wi, Wo. And what did we have? We did we have cos theta i dwi. This was our rendering equation. Now here, if you compare these two, uh, so they are both both of them are relating li to lo. Okay, and we are only inter inter interested in this case in only one particular direction, right? We are computing how li is mapping to lo. So you can technically uh, so here, uh, yes, so we are computing how Li is related to LO. Okay, so now we, if, if you um, look at the similarity between these terms, here, from here you can compute F. Now F is actually, so here we have DWI here and Li here, okay, Li here, DWI here. Okay, so when we take F, when we take f, which is the BRDF, and multiply it with cosine theta i, okay, we must obtain basically the following. We must obtain, uh, let me take this here, okay, so I will also take this part, okay. So I have left out Li and DWI because Li and DWI are also here. So when you take f times cos theta i, you must obtain this part, okay? So from here, you can easily see what F should be. Then F, Wi, Wo is equal to um, this part, okay? Divided by cos theta i. So it's going to be, uh, it's going to be equal to G, Wi, Wo, F, theta prime, okay, D, alpha, four, cos, phi, and we divide this, okay, remember, so we divide this by the um, so this this product basically this product this term should be equal to this term and I am trying to leave f alone here so this is going to be cos theta i okay so uh, this is basically our BRDF okay. So you can also uh, see that the cosine theta i is now in the denominator, just like the ideal specular BRDF, right? So remember, we put the cosine theta i term in the denominator in the uh, ideal specular BRDF as well. So we have the same situation here.